what is up y'all it is saturday i just got done jogging not too long ago but tomorrow is a crazy busy day lots of stuff on the calendar but um one of the things is that both girls have photo shoots with their dance studio because they have a recital coming up in may yeah in a few weeks um and so they're in different they're different ages Jules is three, Tori is seven, going to be eight this summer, which means that they're in different groups, which means that they take pictures separately. Well, Tori being the sentimental person that she is wants to take pictures together. And technically we could get pictures together with them tomorrow, but then that's extra time that's added. And that's also uh, money that we would have to pay to have a separate photo shoot for them, which we're not trying to do all that. And like I said, tomorrow's super busy between church and lunch with some friends and a funeral. So we're gonna do a photo shoot at home. And that photo shoot at home just entails grabbing all the equipment that I've acquired over the years and setting it up so that we can do a little makeshift sister dance arena photo shoot at home. So about to get into that before, because we do actually have to go to the church today. We don't have to, but we're, we're going to the church today so that we can set up and prep things for tomorrow. Because typically I set up the sound equipment for the main class that happens, like the, the general population class outside of all the breakout classes. And then um, Tanya typically handles coffee every Sunday. So we're gonna go so that she can set up the coffee stations and stuff because she's gonna be taking the girls to their photo shoots tomorrow while I am brewing the coffee at church and then doing sound check and rehearsal with the band and with the praise team before we have actual worship tomorrow. So like I said, it's a long, hectic day with lots of moving pieces. So we're going to try to divide and conquer. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to setting up this thing so that we can do this photo shoot in a little bit and get that taken care of before we head to the church. Let's go. <laughs> photographers and videographers that work with little children because Tori's hitting her cues but Jules ooh, that is a whole different ball game trying to get a three-year-old to do dance poses without dancing and to sit still but I think we got the money shots and that it all worked out so it's all good at the church and Tanya is setting up the coffee stations and I actually went and got a couple of the ones from downstairs to bring up for tomorrow and then I'm in the gym right now which is where the general population that sounds like a jail thing but the where the main class is for uh, the majority of the non breakout groups on Sunday morning so I need to set up the sound equipment and then someone will come and set up the chairs and tables probably tomorrow morning but uh, yeah that way I can have everything set up it's so loud in here and ready to go so as you can see got the coffee station to grind all this stuff up and then to make the coffee in the morning oh, no word. to actually brew it that's the longest part is the brewing so i'll get that going in the morning gotta go in here get all of the goods this is one of our green rooms that has got all the stuff in it so all of these chairs there's a ton of them all of those chairs and all of this stuff tables chairs will have to go out there to be set up 
But like I said, I am just handling sound equipment, so that is what I'm about to do. Folks, Tori has something she needs to tell y'all, so I'm gonna hand the camera to her. Make sure you look here and not at yourself when you're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Today I get to go to the dentist. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. <laughs> are you excited about the dentist? Yes. Don't hold it so close to your face, child. Back up. <laughs> and then after the dentist, where are you going? A short day of school. A short day of school. And then you got dance today? Yes. After school? Not you having a lisp now that your tooth is missing. What's that in your hair? Trip. That my friend gave me. Is it a unicorn? No! It's the um cinnamon roll from Hello Kitty. <laughs> Alright. Sign off. Tell him, let's talk to him later after your dentist appointment. Talk to you later. What is up, Flockers? Today is Mother's Day, and Wifey has requested that we cook out and do some good old-fashioned Russian barbecue. So I'm gonna get the grill, and we're gonna get this going since that's her Mother's Day wish. We actually did gifts last night because we had to be at church so early. So we went ahead and took care of the gift part yesterday. But um, yeah, we're gonna do some cooking out, and my mom seasoned a slab of ribs because that was what she wanted for her portion so i got some ribs to cook and then some chicken that tiny marinated and uh, yeah we're gonna get that get that going and try to have a little balcony soiree or whatever it's called and um enjoy some food because i'm hungry so need to get to cooking all right so i got the grill ready to go some people might consider this cheating but i don't care because y'all ain't the ones that are here that have to cook it so I got one of these little electric things that I'm gonna plug in to start the coals. I don't like having to use lighter fluid. So this is my substitute for using lighter fluid to get the coal started. Um, some people are good at starting fires. I was never a boy scout. So I need assistance to get these things started. So let me go on and do that. All right, we got them nice and hot. Now it's time, ooh, the handle's hot too. Time to, uh, put the grill on and get our meat ready to go. All right, so we have the slab of ribs that my mother prepared and seasoned and sent over last night. And then the meat, some of the meat, we still have some chicken wings that Tanya's working on now, but the meat that Tanya's got marinated and in skewers go on the grill. So let's get this ready. I don't know what seasoning she used for this, but it smells so good. All right, it looks as if we're getting there. I don't know, cause I don't do a lot of grilling. So I'm not good at eyeballing meat to know if it's done. So I'm gonna use this little temperature gauge cause the last thing we need to do is to be eating undercooked chicken and pork and getting sick on Mother's Day. So we're at about 150. That is still undercooked. I think we need to get up to 165, 153. Yep, about the same here. Mm, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Put in there. Okay. Is there space? <laughs> you step right in front of the camera. Oh. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> Do you remember what's in the little angel? Uh, banana. Strawberry. Yes. Strawberry. Ooh, 
Dr. Jules is making a doctor mess. <laughs> All right, let's pick it up and clean it up before That's dinner. That's really cute. It's good. Hey. We got Tori out here vlogging on her tablet. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and this one. I'm going to do a challenge. Um. How about I challenge you to eat some dinner? I can eat dinner. All right, well, let's do that. Yumminess. Oh. Yeah. And the wine. Yeah. Yeah. Ribs. Ribs. They're not, well, they're the same type of meat as the ribs, but. It's a pretty bottle and it tastes really good. Gemma di Luna, Italian sparkling wine. I don't know if that's how it tastes in Italy, but we like it. You got anything you need to say? I'm doing a challenge and it's like... Don't tell them the whole thing. Just quick. Stay in my room until my grandparents come. But you don't know what time they're coming. Yeah. So you could be in your room for hours. Uh, yeah, okay. What are you doing, Dr. Jules? I just make a... Um, wait, guys. What you doing? What is up, y'all? I am excited, a little nervous-gated. What's that? That's nervous and... Oh, I forgot what the other word was, but <laughs> I'm excited. We are embarking on a new journey and decided that we wanted to add some additions to the, the household and to just try something new. So we have decided that we want to raise chickens, not raise chickens. We're not trying to get baby chicks. We want to have chickens, <clears throat> hens for eggs and start keeping chicken so that we can get fresh eggs every day so i'm looking forward to that but we decided that we wanted to be extra and instead of just taking the easy way and buying a chicken coop which would have been simple and quick but all the reviews that we were seeing online whether it was on amazon or other ones in the price range that we were trying to pay for it they all had terrible reviews of people saying that you know the materials were cheap and that one storm took it out completely so we don't want that to happen so instead we said you know what let's invest the money um not into buying a fully chick because the ones when you invest money they get up to the like twelve hundred dollars two thousand five ten i mean they can get super expensive because some of these are super elaborate anyways we went on pinterest and tanya found a design that she liked and so we paid for the design plans, so we're going to go with that design and modify it a little bit to fit to our yard and our needs. But I pretty much don't build stuff unless it's Ikea. Um, so it's got like 10 steps. So this is going to be a whole new type of journey where, I mean, I thought doing the floors in our basement was a big deal, which it was uh, my first time flooring. But now doing this, building a chicken coop, this pretty much building a small house. So, but we're going to do this because this is what we want to do. And we're supposed to be ordering chickens in like five days. So, I mean, it's a month before we actually get them, but we're ordering them in five days. So that puts the pressure on to get this done. So I need to get into the garage and start doing that. We have purchased all the wood and most of the supplies, but now we just need to start the actual cutting of the wood in the building process. My wife is going to come and clutch though because Tanya is the one that is all about measurements and being precise. So she will make sure that things are kept the way that they're supposed to be. Because if it was up to me, we'd have a lean-in chicken coop that probably had all sorts of holes and gaps in it. Because I get to the point where I'm just like, forget it. I'm not trying to do all of that. But... Um... Let me see. I guess we're going to start with the straight cuts because those those are simple enough. That doesn't require math or making sure you got your angles right. So we're going to start with the 